With the first pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Orlando Magic select Paolo Bancaro from Duke University. If you want to make it in this game, you need to do three things. You need to work hard, you need to work smart, and you need to work consistent. Here's the problem. Some of you do one of those things. Some of you do two of those things. Very few of you do all three. But you have to have all three. See, if you work hard and you work smart, but you don't do it very often and you don't do it consistently, you won't make it. If you work really, really hard and you do it all of the time, but you don't work smart, you're not going to make it. And it goes without saying that if you don't even work hard, you don't stand a chance. Now here's the thing as far as working hard, and I don't blame you if I'm the 10 millionth person who's told you in your life that you have to work hard. I guarantee your parents have told you that, I guarantee coaches have told you that. Anytime they interview some celebrity on TV, what did you do to make it? You gotta work hard, you gotta work hard. What does work hard mean? Here's how I'm gonna define working hard. You take yourself to the point of discomfort. That can be physical, that can be mental, that can be emotional. But you take yourself out of your comfort zone. If you guys want to make it, you have to learn how to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Now, working hard is a choice. Every single thing you do, you have the choice. Every time you enter the gym to work out or to practice or to play a game, you have a choice to make. You have the choice to work hard or you have the choice to not work hard. And most of you don't grasp that not working hard is a conscious choice. It's easy to make excuses. I didn't get enough sleep last night. I didn't eat breakfast. My, my parents were late picking me up. It's easy to make excuses. But at the end of the day, when you lace up your sneakers and it's time to play, whether you're working out, practicing, or playing in a game, you have the choice to work hard. And if you want to be great, you have to make working hard a habit. And when other people are counting on you when you're in an organization, you need everyone to consistently make that choice. Because if they don't, they're stealing from you. If we are a team and you consistently choose not to give your best effort, you are taking lunch off of my plate. And we can't let that happen. Remember, when you're a part of a team, you are choosing to be a part of something bigger than yourself. You are trading some of the me for the we. You are consciously saying that it is not about me, it is about us. And the team needs you to give your best effort as consistently as possible.